Hi, this is Justin Coletti. You may know me from Sonic Scoop, but today I'm on the Plugin Alliance channel talking to Cohen Heldens. Cohen, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Justin. My pleasure. Great to have you here. In case you don't know Cohen, he's worked with a whole new generation of hip hop artists as a mixer. Names like Sway Lee, Trippy Red, XXX Tentacion. He's worked with really established artists like Kanye West, like Timbaland, and a whole bunch of others. And today we've got a great excuse to talk to him. He's been trying out the new Amec 9099 channel strip from Plugin Alliance and Brainworks. Now, Cohen, if I remember correctly, I think you've actually used this console before. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's correct. So this goes way back to, I think, 2010, 2011 in Hollywood, California. A good friend of mine who is also Dutch, he owned a studio called Future Sound Studios in Hollywood. The front part, that's where Bruno Mars had his studio set up. And then the back part, he was still using, making use of his own part of the studio, which had an original Amic 9098i in there. So I had some experience on that one. And actually, we mixed a record on there by an artist named Fawny, which went number one in Japan way back in the day. Oh, sweet. And was that your first experience ever working with that console? And if so, what were some of the things that you liked about it and that uh, kind of spoke to you about that console? Yeah, it was the first time for me using that type of console. What really stood out to me, probably because it's a Rupert Neve design, was the low end and the sheen on the high end. So we could get really nice, fat low end happening, and at the same time, it's a very rich, uh, like Rupert Neve, Neve is really known for that rich high in any signal that you want to put in there. So that was, you know, my main thing. Right, yeah, a Neve designed EQs often work well for boosting and it has that glow control on the low end and that sheen control on the top end to really help you reshape lows and highs even more. This one I think has a bit more in it than some of the other uh, BX console plugins. It has some features in there that are not on the actual physical console. One of them, I think, is a soft clip function. There is an involved gate in there. What are your first impressions working with the plug-in console strip here? And where do you think, what kinds of projects might you reach for this instead of, say, the SSL or the Neve console strips that so many of us are already familiar with? Well, what I like about this channel strip is that we can go very, you know, musical with the boosts. But at the same time, we can go very surgical if we need to be with EQ. And then, you know, all the features like soft clip on the limiter is really nice to give that little extra grit to signals, especially to soft clip drums to make them sound a bit harder. And even the ambience control that we find on there as well, that we can kind of hear the differences of what's really going on within the processing that we put on any signal. So that's, to me, stands really out. Right, yeah, I should say in addition to boosting so well, like you can with so many of the Neve EQs, this one does tighten up a lot if you want to get surgical. In fact, I think there's even a notch filter where you can go super deep on your cuts and kind of super tight on your cuts. Do you ever use notch filters in any of your work? Yes, every once in a while I'm using a notch filter for, you know, there might be one frequency that might be spiking in there as a resonance that you cannot take out by just, you know, creating a dip. You really have to go hard on it and really notch it out to get a much cleaner signal and remove that out of it. Right. Uh, and how would you describe the overall sonic flavor of this Amec 9099 compared to those Neve and SSLs? Does this have a particular character that you can define at all? Yeah, to me, it, it sounds really expensive. So, you know, it's uh, it can sound really warm, but expensive warm, not that muddy you know, cheap plasticky sound. And like I already explained, the high end, how rich it sounds. So to me, it's a very expensive sounding channel strip. Beautiful. Now, uh, another quick question for you. Working with channel strips, is this something that you've been doing in your work as a mixer? What is it about the approach of having a channel strip that you like, or where do you reach for that kind of solution instead of independent EQs or compressors and that kind of thing? Well, the good thing with channel strips, it's more like a Swiss knife, or at least I see them as a Swiss knife. So all the features that I might need on a channel, I can now use versus, you know, inserting a separate EQ, a separate, you know, a compressor or a separate limiter. Now I just pull up one plugin and it's so intuitive because I can access everything at the same time. So I can be like, okay, let me just, you know, color here or correct here. And maybe I need to add in some little bit of control. So let me automatically also go to the compressor and dial that one in versus having to go through a lot more steps. So this will speed up my workflow as well. Right. Good stuff. Well, Cohen is uh, doing us the treat of giving us a kind of walkthrough and demonstration video 
on this Amec 99. So stay tuned for that. You're going to be able to see that right here on the Plug and Lines channel. Really excited to see what you do with this thing. I'm looking forward to that walkthrough here on this channel. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Thank you, Cohen Heldens, for being here. Where are the best places for people to check you out and follow you if they want to catch up with what you're doing? The best places to find me is my website, mixedbycohenheldens.com, or my Instagram, which is at mixedbycohenheldens. All right, good stuff. If you want to try this out for yourself for free, go over to plugin-alliance.com, or you can try out this or anything else they make for free for two weeks over at plugin-alliance.com, or just go get the mega subscription bundle. It's one of the biggest deals in pro audio, and this will be part of your new arsenal of plugins. Thanks again for hanging out with me. Thank you, Cohen, for being here. See you next time.